What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Aviators. Well, the trip has begun. Uh, just took off from front range. Uh, airplanes loaded up uh, with camping gear and all sorts of stuff. Food for a couple weeks. And uh, actually, today flying up to um, an airstrip that isn't even on the map. It's called the Miracle Mile Strip. It's up uh, on the Miracle Mile on the Platte River. Uh, going to stop there my first night, maybe fish for a couple of days. I had to leave today because uh, the weather conditions, the wind up there is just going to be epic. So, uh, got a three-hour flight, I think. Uh, and I'm putzing along here at 103 knots ground speed. Um, but it's pretty out. I'll reverse the camera and show you. And there it is, flying low, we're about 6,000 feet, and uh, loving every minute of it. So I won't uh, keep you while we're plodding along here, but I'll certainly uh, adjust the camera when we land. The trip we're going to land at is, uh, I think it's about 8, cross runway 8. Okay, radio fixed. Uh, I think I would say the strip we're going to land is... I think it's about 2,000 feet long, um, but uh, fully loaded. I just took off in about uh, 800 feet, so I think we're probably good. I'm getting an early start so that, uh, you know, I'm not uh, fighting high-density altitudes. Um, but everything's good. We're uh, flying at 23 squared. Engine monitor's good. Fuel, I've got a full 62 gallons of fuel on board. Um, and I think uh, my gross weight right now is, or, uh, my useful, what I'm using of my useful is about 700 pounds. So, uh, hang tight, it's going to be a fun trip, going to get some fishing in. Uh, after uh, the uh, Miracle Mile, I think I'm going to go up to, uh, uh, oh, what's it called, Yellowstone West. They got a camping ground right on the runway. And then uh, I'm going to scoot on into Missoula for that AOPA uh, that AOPA fly-in, and uh, then go uh, fly some Idaho backcountry. Uh, that'd be a hoot, so uh, stay with us. All right, so we're about uh, 20 miles north of Laramie, Wyoming. Kind of flying in the high desert here, and uh, I think we're about 35 to 40 minutes from landing. Uh, used to fly my RV. It's so much faster than this, but... Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm having a hoot, and a uh, beautiful day for flying. We'll see how the wind is when we get to the uh, airfield, and I'll turn this thing back on And uh, as we're circling around the, uh, the strip we're going to land at. So there it is, pretty view. Hey, okay, guys, we're getting close. Uh, probably about 15 miles away from the strip. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, the lake off in the distance, and... Uh, this strip is right next to the uh, the Platte River, and so uh, that's where I'll be fishing probably for a couple of days um, on the Miracle Mile. So I think that's called Seminone Lake. Uh, might be wrong about that, but that's what I think it's called. And uh, we're going to fly right down the canyon and uh, find the airstrip. Stay tuned. All right, so we should be about eight miles from the field, getting all kinds of terrain warnings. We're uh, probably uh, flying at about 600 feet AGL. Looks different, though, than uh, on, on the camera. Wind's really howling up here. Okay, we're coming up on the strip. I think I see it, but... Uh, I think it's just right over here. And there's the Miracle Mile. Doesn't look like much from up here, but it is some pretty darn good fishing. Mile area traffic, Cessna 2523 Yankee is uh, overflying midfield. Miracle Mile.
Okay, I can see the windsock, but I can't make out its direction just yet. Oh, that's a neat little strip. Okay, looks like the sock is favoring a uh, one-niner, about a 45 degree. Miracle Mile Area Traffic, Cessna 2523 Yankee is midfield left hand downwind for 1 9. And there it is. Landed at the Miracle Mile. All right, guys, I just got everything in my tent. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my fishing pole put together um, and get down to the river and do some fishing. Uh, man, that was a landing. Those winds were uh, kind of thinking they were probably 35 to 40. It was, it was uh, you know, I land better in the wind than most people. And it's counterintuitive, but it's kind of my thing. But anyways, um, all's well that ends well. And I'll put a pic of what my camp looks like in after this. And, uh, you know, if you like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, comment. And until next time.